welcome to the Hobonichi Weeks Week. Hello, welcome back to this channel or welcome to this channel. My name is Jackie and I'm a planner, journal and coffee addict. Today we are continuing with our series about the Hobonichi Weeks and I have a very simple and hopefully very short video for you today. I'm going to tell you about my five accessories for the Hobonichi Weeks. So if that's something that may interest you, just keep watching. So the first accessory I want to mention are actually the covers and covers on covers for the Hobonichi Weeks. And I really enjoy the Hobonichi Weeks covers and of course you can totally use them just as they are, but I love to have something extra. So I love to add the covers on covers whenever I want uh, to keep the cover of the actually Weeks showing up, but I just want to protect it from water and rain and dirt. And sometimes I add covers, real covers, um, whenever I just want to use them because I think we all have a lot of covers and we need to use them. So I have a couple of Giglio Firenze ones, I have Gallon Letter and I have, of course, the Hobonichi cover right here. I have already done a video about my Hobonichi Weeks cover collection and I will link that up here and down in the description box if you want to check that out. So these are the first accessories I want to mention here. Now, my second pick for the top five accessories for the Hobonichi Weeks are the pencil boards, and I love them. They are really pretty and also really useful, especially uh, if you need to write down uh, on your Hobonichi with fountain pens or if you are watercoloring on your Hobonichis, and also they make it easier for you to write on your Hobonichi when you are at the end of the year and your Hobonichi is beautiful, gorgeous and chunky and they just are helpful. So what I do, I just put it behind the pages that I'm going to use and I use this mainly for water coloring and they will help the paper not to wrinkle so much and also they will just make it easier for you to do your uh, doodles and do your uh, the drawing or the painting that you are doing. So they are pretty helpful and they you can also use them uh, to mark a page. So for example, if I want to access uh, some notes quite easy, I just add the pencil board there and then can work as a page marker as well. So yeah, pencil boards for the wing. The third accessory that I want to mention here are actually the Hobonichi stencils and of course not only the Hobonichi brand stencils, you can also use other brand stencils and you can find them pretty cheap uh, in a lot of stationery stores. So for example, when I was back in Japan, I bought these ones from Daiso and I really like it because you have all the letters, some symbols and also uh, a variety of icons back here and I think this was like less than a dollar. And also the Hobonichi stencils are also very cheap. Um, especially if you are just adding them on to your order, so you will already pay the shipping price, so you can just add a couple of um, stencils there. And the reason I love this is because you can use them if you are doing a type of bullet journal on your Hobonichi Weeks, or if you are just doing functional planning without stickers and paintings and all of that but you can also use it for your journal to make it more interesting, especially if you are really bad at doodling as I am. So I love using the stencils and they are really light and compact as you can see here. So they do not add any bulk to my Hobonichi Weeks. So I love them. My fourth choice of accessory is actually the tabs from the Hobonichi. And as you can see, I have already used mine. So let me show you on my 2020 planner, Hobonichi planner. So as you can see, I use them for the months. And also I add some of the little monkey ones here at the top so I can easily find uh, like my index page and also the notes section. And they are great for that. It, it, they make it easier for you to find the months and whatever you like. But I also love the way they look. And I used these on my last Hobonichi as well for this year. And you can see like the pops of colors and the little monkeys. I just love it. So 
I decided to do exactly the same thing for this for next year. And I just think it adds something uh, special. So I really enjoy it. And I think they should be mentioned here on this top five list. The last accessory I want to mention in this video are the elastic bands. And I love them. They are really, really, really useful. And they also are really pretty. And you can use a variety of different brands to add to your Hobonichi so it will stay closed or it will just look nice. So here, for example, I have this tree from Erin Condren and they are made for the Erin Condren Life Planner, so, I, so they are pretty huge. But you can totally use them on your Hobonichi wigs if you just like do more than one um, round on your Hobonichi or if you just want, or if your Hobonichi is just way too chunky, so you can just uh, wrap it around it and you are ready to go. So I really enjoy using them. Then I have the ones from the Hobonichi brand, they, they have this little round thing that I think it's it's so charming. I love it. I love using this. So I have a brown one and a pink one. And I just love using these. And they are really useful as well. And you can even use the ones that come uh, with your traveler's notebook as I have it here. And this is just perfect. It fits quite nicely for your Hobonichi wigs and it can be helpful uh, when your Hobonichi is way too chunky. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoy it. It was sweet and short and I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye! <laughs>